Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix Wi-Fi connection problems in Windows 10 or 11. But before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and don't worry, we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Try some basic settings like check your Wi-Fi signal and distance or verify your Wi-Fi is enabled on the computer or not. For this, in Windows 11, you can click on network icon in the taskbar and toggle the Wi-Fi switch to on. Or in Windows 10, you can right-click on network icon in the system tray and select open network and internet settings and toggle the Wi-Fi switch to on. Number 2. Update Wi-Fi drivers. For this, right-click on the start button, select device manager, and from there, expand the network adapters option. And from there, right click on your Wi Fi adapter and choose update driver. Then you can select the option to search for drivers automatically online or manually download and install the latest driver from the manufacturer's website. Number 3 Disable and re enable the Wi Fi adapter. For this, right click on the network icon in the taskbar. And from there, select Open Network and Internet Settings. And from there, just simply click on Wi-Fi in the left panel. Then click on the toggle switch under Wi-Fi to turn it off. Then just wait for a few seconds and toggle it back on. Number 4. Forget and reconnect to the network. For this, go to Network and Internet Settings. And from there, click on Wi-Fi. Then click on Manage Known Networks. And after this, select your network and click on forget. Afterwards, search for available networks and from there, again select network and enter the password to reconnect. Number 5. Disable the power saving mode for the Wi-Fi adapter. For this, go to the device manager and from there, select the network adapters tab and right click on your Wi-Fi adapter. After this, select properties, then go to the power management tab and uncheck the option that says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Number 6. Run the network troubleshooter. For this, go to the settings and select the system tab. Then after this, go to the path troubleshoot and select other troubleshooter. And after this, click on run in front of network and internet and select troubleshoot my connection to the internet. Number 7. Reset Network Settings For this, go to Network and Internet Settings and from there, click on the Advanced Network Settings and scroll down to the Network Reset section and just simply click on the Reset Now button. Number 8. Enable WLAN Auto Config Services For this, press the Window key plus R to open the Run Box. Then in the Run Box, type services.msc and hit Enter or click OK. After this, scroll down and select WLAN Auto Config option. And after this, right click on it and select the Properties option. Then in the General tab, select Startup Type to Automatic. Then just simply click Apply, Start and OK. And after this, just simply restart the PC. Number 9. Reset IP and DNS Cache. For this, go to the search bar and search for the command prompt. After this, right click on it and just select the Run as administrator option. Now, try the following commands to reset the IP and clear the DNS cache. Number 10. Check for Windows Update. For this, ensure that your operating system is up to date and Windows updates often include bug fixes and stability improvements. So this was it for the video guys, we hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry, just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.